This playthrough is rated E10+. You are, it'd be time to learn about the world outside of Weister and to learn that there's places yet to see and on the sea. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn are back here with another episode of Summon Night, a Swordcraft story. In the last episode, day, day six, we learned about the, the leader of the Craft Lords, learned that some evil group is trying to cause trouble around here, and we got some magical sword that a watery tart threw at us, and, or watery scimitar that a watery tart threw at us and told us we'd be king. Oh wait, that's a different story. But we did get a sword and we gave it to our mom for some reason. I thought these pe be bad people were looking for a mom, or we're looking for the sword, so would that put our mom in danger? Yeah, it's probably fine. Anyway, let's see what day seven has for in store for us. Big bro! What the? Razzy, what's the matter? Big news, big bro. Vero found somebody washed up at the docks. Meet me there, big bro. I'm going back to help. See you soon. Bye. Oh, he's gone. Well, let's get to the port, Zantac. Stars. All right, let's head on out there and see what's going on. Sounds like Weistern isn't the only continent in the world. We're not an isolated incident. So. Hey, don't talk to me right now. I'm in the middle of making an ultra technique. Can I have it when you're done? I need more power. Oh, oh, oh. No? Okay. Well, we'll get it our own way then. Did you know that we can't get out of the ocean with the water scooters? I didn't know that before. Yeah, you're not gonna go out in the massive ocean with just a little, with a Scooty Puff Jr. over here, you know. You need a manly boat. Or pirates, whatever. What type of weapons are you making these days? You should start finding which kinds you like most. Or are you trying to be a professionist and master everything? Everything! In any case, good luck. Yeah, we're gonna get everything. Whether I'll use all the weapons is a different matter. If you keep using weapons that you think are weak, they'll eventually get stronger. That's the whole technique thing. Don't judge the strength of a weapon just by its appearance or statistics. Yeah, if you build up your attack rank, it improves their stats overall. Master Braun is the head of the Silver Guild, but he doesn't look like a great leader. Yeah, he doesn't act like it either, really, when you think about it. Now, he's hitting on my mom all day, so... When Master Braun yells, his voice is so loud it echoes everywhere in the forge. It really scares me. Yeah, some people have voices like that that they can, they can really intimidate you if they yell. What weapon types have you been making recently? Can I see? Do your best to make good weapons. All right. I don't think Braun has anything to say until we actually go into, go check this out, the story out, so. At the port? Yeah, I guess someone's there. Yeah. All right. Master Braun, he always goes to see Amorous while he's at work. It's an unrequited love. Oh, good thing our mom's smart enough to not fall for that, at least. Whew. I don't want to have that type of awkward situation. Master and mother hanging out together? Ugh. Deep you go in the labyrinth, the stronger the stray monster will be. Only craft lords can make it to the bottom. We'll see about that. <laughs> if you become the champion of the tournament, come and fight me. I'll defeat you and I'll become the strongest. You only have a unique portrait. I don't think we're going to see each other anymore. Uh, what do you got to buy now these days? Spice. Uh, let's see. That might be worth buying a couple of these things. Yeah, these are out of, out of battle uh, heals. So, mild spice, 500. Red hot spice, 600. Nan bread, 800. And mild curry, 1200. So basically, it's one bow on per HP, basically. So I might buy some of those to put in my inventory just to have some back appeals. Although, usually, the game isn't too tough when it comes to like taking enough damage and usually get to a heal spot by the time you actually need it. But, you know, just in case. But we'll see. I'm a, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, I'm running about even on money. Like, I'm always close to running out, you know. It's dangerous to go on the ocean with a water scooter and use a boat instead. Well, why would we need to go on a boat? It's almost like the game's telling me I'm going to have to go on a boat soon. Oh, big bro, over here. Mom and Sanery? What, is there a reason why I shouldn't be here? No, not really. So what's going on? I guess a guy with amnesia was found in the water around here. We don't know who he is. Your mom's trying to find out what happened to him. Dot, dot, dot. Oh dear, what am I going to do? Do you love him? Oh, oh, it's because she's she's acting to us. Whew. Ah, anyway. Oh, Claire, you're here right when I need you. Can you carry this young man to my house? He needs to rest in a good meal to regain his strength. I'm 13, dude. How would I be strong enough to pick up... Oh, well, whatever. You got it. Stars. Maybe we can use some magic to improve our strength. Well, our, our attack stat's pretty high. Hey, you over there. Get Help us. Who, me? Yes, you. This is a man's job. Well... Okay, that's true. Hmm, but... Oh boy, you don't want to get into an argument with me over this. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. 
Uh, even Beryl can't can't uh, fight against our mom. Moms have a weird power, dude. I see. Can you remember anything else? No, not a, a, a. All I can remember is a vortex, monsters, a whirlpool causing swirling splashes, and an island behind the crashing waves. That's all I can remember. I'm sorry. Take it easy. You need to rest up. Yes. I, I think he must be trying really hard just to recall what he's also uh, been able to remember so far. I agree. Indeed, what are we going to do? That whirlpool, is, is it far from here? What island was he talking about? He did say something like that. Maybe he's talking about the large vortex in the north. You know the one that the team of explorers from the central tower is investigating. Hey, you guys. You aren't saying that you want to go out there, are you? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, there might be some materials in the area that we can't get anywhere else. So I was thinking that th those could be useful in making weapons. That's too dangerous. Yeah. Hey, I suddenly remembered I have something to do. Somewhere else. Bye. Uh, me too. I'd best be going. Huh. That was weird. Clairu, what about you? Well, what do you want, Sandry? Hey, this doesn't have anything to do with me, does it? Well... Ugh. Why not? Ugh. I don't want to go. You want to know why not? It's because I'll get too excited about what's there on the island. Sanery, you're not making any sense to me. Well, she is a woman. Ooh, I know, I'm just kidding. Shut up! Oh, that was weird. Ooh la la, don't let a girl get mad at you. That's not how a gentleman acts. Uh, isn't there, like, a type of, uh, uh, playfulness, like, to get a girl mad at you? Like, some guys actually like teasing a girl to get them mad because they like, like that, kind of that, how they look when they get mad. Uh, I forgot what the term is, and I'm not talking Sudere. I'm talking about just the general pissing someone off just to get a reaction, but not actually wanting them to be super mad, just, like, annoyed, if that makes sense. But anyway, whatever. Oh, no, Mom. What are you guys going to do to Clairu? Stars. Huh. I want to go to the island. Adventure! To be honest, I do want to go there, but... Then go ahead. What? You're old enough to decide what you want to do by yourself. Well, I guess technically in Jewish culture, I am a man. Actually, technically, I think the main character is supposed to be like 15, maybe 16. Although sometimes in certain Japanese RPGs, the characters are as young as 13, depending on how things go. So I'm going to go with... Well, in America, he's 18, but in Japan, he's probably 16 or 15, so. A bit of an adventure won't hurt a young man at all. All right. Now, how am I supposed to get there? A water scooter won't make it, and I don't have a boat. You can borrow one for Braun. Oh, yeah, Braun does have a boat, doesn't he? I wonder if he let me lend me one. Tell him that I asked him to let you use one of his boats. He'll run right out and get it for you. Does my mom know what she's doing when it comes to Braun? Anyway, that's my mother. Don't worry about this young man. He seems to be from the central tower, so I'll go take him back there. Alright. Now, let's get going, dear. Alright, okay. I guess she's taking care of things in her own way, so. Alright, so before we head on, let's go uh, get a, um, a technique. I'll have to be doing a lot of tech. Well, not a lot, but I'll have to be doing a, t a few technique buildings today just to, uh, build up some stuff and to get some items. So anyway, if we go here, let's talk to this guy. I always quit myself with just swords. Just swords, huh? I wonder. Well, let's see what happens if we quit just swords. Just uh, just to placate this man. Maybe there's a reason for this sh sh chicanery. I always quit myself with just swords. What, you two? Sounds like we think alike. Okay, then here's a technique with, uh, here's a technique with you. What, what? Here's a technique with you. What? Anyway. Huh? It's not the sword type? Of course not. I, I wouldn't give away an important sword technique, but I can give you this. Anyway, we get, we get the uh, uh, Hydra uh, Hydra Burst Axe. Yeah, sorry, I had to look at my notes. Uh, really powerful axe of the flame element. We actually want to make that. However, if you're behind on Mystic Ores, it's going to take a while to, to make it. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, so that's that. Uh, okay, let's go back to Braun now. I'm gonna have to get a lot of techniques from Braun today as well, so. 
Master, can I borrow a boat from you, please? Oh, you too, Kaleru. Sainery and Razzik came here asking for a boat. They have my last one. Ah, so that's what they were doing. Hmm, well, they're ahead of us. Well, what? Wait, is this a race? Huh, anyway. So there's nothing I can do for you. I'm out of boats that you can have. Please? Kaleru, there aren't any boats left to borrow. That's all there is to it. Are you really sure that you don't have any boats left? Yes, there's, there's nothing left. Stop asking me. Oh, but do you you do have your own personal boat, right? My mom said that I had to borrow a boat from you. Amorous, did she really tell you to borrow one of my boats? Yes, she did. Okay, go get it. You can use, Okay, go get it. You can use my boat. I'm a man of my word. But you didn't give me your word. I won't complain, though. Why does he want my mom to like him so much? Ah, uh, it goes, it, it's spelled like this. Give me an S, give me an I, give me an M, give me a P. What's that spell? Star. I shouldn't ask that. Here's the boat key. Here we get the ship key. Ah, thank you, master. <laughs> that's not all. There's another secret. It gives us the, uh, um. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of the sword again. It's a sword technique, uh, the high blade. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's a decent weapon. There's a note in the boat. The secret's written on it. You can read it, but like always, finish your next weapon before you do. Yes. Thank you very much. It's nothing. I have no problem doing this if it'll help win me Amorous's heart. Well, apparently Amorous doesn't actually feel the same way. She, although, that's kind of evil for her to manipulate him like that. She should just straight up tell him it's, there's no chance, because that's kind of cruel to do that to the dude. But it's humorous, so we, 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 let, it, we let it slide. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I feel a little sorry for him. Yeah, exactly. Well, mom still got the, uh, still got, you know, even though our dad's dead, she, she still loves him. So I, I guess it's for a good reason. But anyway, okay, so we're going to need quite a few materials. So if we want to make the axe, I need 22 material ores. Now I'm going to need, I'm actually going to need quite a few. Look at that. I need like 82 fire. Oh yeah, I need to break down some, uh. Uh, materials that I got from last episode. I forgot to do that. Let me do that really quick on screen. So I got a, a tender, gives 10 fire, heat sink. I uh, got a few of those. Heat, uh, or not heat sink. Uh, or yeah, heat sink. Sorry. Just didn't break them all down. Large bolts. Yeah, conductor gives me a lot of electricity. And the Oni Horn that I uh, dro got a rare drop on that gives 50 fire, which is really nice. But the thing I'm a little bit behind on is um, uh, water here. So I'm going to do a little bit of grinding for some material ore and some regular materials uh, just to um, make this weapon because I want to I want to show you you can get a pre uh, get some early e elementals at this point. So I'll be right back after grinding some materials and getting some um, uh, mystic ore. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get 22, maybe 23, just to have a little extra. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. I took a little bit of time. Uh, it took, took me, didn't take me too long to do this. I just ran back and forth in a couple rooms, uh, killed some summon swords to get some uh, um, mystic ores. And then if I didn't get any summon swords for a while, I just reset and do it again to keep my time low. So I only took like 10, 15 minutes to do it in game time anyway. Uh, actual out of game time, it took me like a, an hour or so to do. But yeah, I got, gave myself quite a bit of materials just from drops and stuff like that. Uh, uh, basically what I did is I just fought um, the uh, summon swords and uh, uh, crates and stuff like that. So anyway. All right, so first of all, we need to create some weapons. So I, because I, I want to get a very specific weapon, which is from Braun giving me uh, um, uh, uh, technique. So let, let's build the, the, um, whoops, wrong, wrong. I, I meant a uh, drill. I need to make the drill technique that Braun gave me a while back, which is this one. So uh, 31 lightning, 10 fire, 23 water, and 20 uh, wind. Alright, here we get the precision rudder, but I want to make a bunch of spears is what I want to do. Um, and the way bronze techniques works is he can give you so many and then after so many days occur, then he'll allow you to do more uh, techniques. Um, 
I forgot what the last day is for techniques. I'll have to look that up. But uh, but yeah, you could max out his techniques, and then the next day you'll have a new one. After like one or two days, you'll have some new or one actual days, not in, not in game days, or I guess in game, not like me as the player days, like when I sleep and stuff like that. But like when the story progresses. But anyway, let's make that spear technique. Luckily, most of the spear techniques that Braun gives you are. Um, don't require Mystic Ore. Mystic Ore ones are usually gotten from doing like side quests and stuff like that from people in town. So anyway, this one requires eight fire, 22 wind, uh, water, and 14 wind to make. All right, the Yari. Uh, ancient martial arts spear. Yeah, it's a Japanese type of spear. Yeah, I want to do this a few times because I've been, I, I'll admit I've been a bit far behind on getting materials and making bronze uh, list of items because I keep forgetting to, you know, grind for materials. Uh, well, I do, I have been grinding for materials, but mainly for Mystic Ore and that's it. So, which means I usually would only fight the spell weapons. I wouldn't fight anything else and get other drops, you know what I mean? So, so that, that that's why this, this uh, session took me a little bit longer to, uh, uh, grind out a bit so man we got 19 this one takes 19 fire 9 water and 32 wind to make uh the valerie spear spear with hardened spearhead all right yeah most of the weapons you get from brawn are going to be pretty straightforward nothing too crazy it's usually the technique ones the, the either elemental techniques or the ones you get from people in town give you a bit more or from side quests and stuff like that, I'll give you something a bit more. So we're looking to make uh, spear number 12 is the one we're looking for specifically. All right, uh, let's see, yeah, we got a couple more to go. So this one requires 42 lightning, 11 fire, 50, uh, 25 water, and 22 wind to make. All right, the Creed Spear. All right, then finally, let's see, I think I need a couple more. Because I think that was number eight, and it skips everyone, so this one would be number 10. Because the, the one after it, number nine, would be the elemental version of that weapon you just made, the one that requires Mystic Ore to make, so. All right, this one requires 10, 10 lightning, 6 fire, 50 water, and 36 wind to make. The sapphire lance. Better for swinging than piercing. Oh, you know, I just realized I don't I didn't th I don't think I grinded enough to make my new technique the uh uh oh I might have enough. Okay, never mind. I wanted to make that axe, and I was like, wait a minute, do I have a I might have to buy a water thing, because I think I might be a little under on water. We'll see here in a second. For whatever reason, water's been the hardest one for me to get. I don't know why. I guess not a very good, not very good places for water right now, so. All right, if we make this one, requires 13 lightning, seven fire, 66 water, 44 wind to make. The murder pole. Vicious looking spear used to? Well, you know, it's in the name. But anyway, okay, so we're done with that. Although we'll get another thing from uh, Braun, but uh, we want to make the ax and we want to make, uh, well, I already told you what the name was, but anyway, this car is nine lightning, 30, 82 fire, nine water, 46 wind and 22 material ore. We get the Hydra Burst Axe, a really good axe, and this is going to be very useful in this chapter just because of its element and the damage it does. So, yeah, 72 attack, 61 defense, minus 25 agility, but and 135 du durability, so we definitely want to equip that. Uh, okay. So let's go and swap out the, uh, the Hot Ladle for uh, the Hydra Burst Axe. Actually, we might keep, we might put the Ladle in the, our inventory. And then... Uh, uh, the uh, uh, drill for now, but we'll be using the fire axe mainly, and then switching out the ladle for later. 
All right, I think we should be on spear techniques for now, I believe. Yeah, so we only have knuckle drill and axe types to, so let's, uh, we're a bit behind on axe. Let's, let's choose an axe technique. I'm not going to make any more right now. We've got what we need. So, all right, let's head on out. Okay. So first of all, let's go over here. All right, I believe this is the knuckle loving house where we gave the the, the, not, the Razzie's knuckle and all that stuff. I think knuckles are the weapons for men. I'm embarrassed by my dad. Axes are strong, but are too heavy. Eh, I'm sorry about that. You're crazy, father. Crazy like a fox. My father's given up on knuckles and started to think of using axes. After we gave him Razzie's knuckle and everything, or yeah. Listen to me. I think that axes are strong and may start becoming popular soon. So you're just chasing the trend. It's like what it's like liking the Patriots before they became patri uh, uh, popular. Now no one likes them now. But anyway, sorry, I know nothing about sports, so you, I could be wrong by the time this is recording. So when you hold one, doesn't its heavy weight remind you of an awesome destructive power? Don't you think it's a weapon that embodies the spirit of masculinity? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I don't know what you, I don't know what what you want me to say about that, but anyway. Yeah, we talked. To, we mainly talked to him just to kind of set something up later. So, but anyway. Okay, now I need to go into um, uh, Middle Western for uh, to buy an item and meet a couple people. Because the shop every ch every day the well not every day but most of the days every other day the the shops will have new inventory and stuff like that. So depending. But for what we need, it does have an upgrade. So let's go to the shop. I see if they have anything to say. Oyster and sands in the middle of the ocean, so the metal gets rusted because of the salty ocean wind. Oh, that's super inconvenient. If the weapons you make get rusty from ocean wind, you're far from becoming a craft board. I guess so. The quakes are worse on the middle level. Good to know. Anyway, let's buy, uh, let's see, I think we got some new items here. Yeah, the summon charm, which... <laughs> this game already has a high enough encounter rate. You mean I can raise it even higher? Yeah, with the summon charm, that improves your encounter rates, which you want to use these if you want to try and get, um, uh, spell weapons to appear. It, it increases their chances of appearing, too. Not just regular encounters, but yeah, you can buy coffee mugs, large bolts, Myer the Myers boots, the fur boots, which are 15 agility. And we, now we can buy gold necklaces, which is uh, five better than our uh, gold uh, iron ne uh, necklace. So we'll buy one of those. And let's go and uh, whoops, let's go and equip that, so we can uh, have a bit more stats. Nice. All right. Now that we're out of there, okay. Want to talk to this guy over here? There's a demon in the ocean that's bigger than we can imagine. My hypothesis can't be wrong. I don't know, man. You're starting to talk gibberish, but uh, let's let's trust the random guy. Oh, you believe me? Now take this. No need to thank me. Hey, we got the deep sea ore, which can break down, which is nice for free if you believe him. I found this while I was searching the ocean. I'm sure you can find some kind of use for it. All right, nice. All right, let's take a look at a couple houses before we leave. So, oh wait, no, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that one guy's house. So uh, no, that wrong house. Uh, anyway, we want to go here. Are you working hard? You should work harder, especially with spears. This is a spear lady, by the way. That's a nice spear. Is that a murder pole? Can you trade it with me? Uh, sure, why not? Are you sure you'll give this to me? Well, then I'll give you this technique in exchange. There we got a new, uh, we got a new fist element for, uh, trading that to her. That's an elemental fist. Alright, then we want to go... Is it this house? Yes. Today we have a nice weather in Leicester. It's cool because of the ocean breeze. This is the family that their son was traveling around. Our son's on a trip and works hard to make his fortune. Do you also have a goal? Yes, I do. I see. It's good that you're trying to become a craft for it. Good luck with that. So this is to activate something later, so... All right, I think we're done for now. So, I mean, we could talk to other people, but you know, like I said, uh, I do kind of feel bad for not talking to everyone in the game just to show, because there is some people do have some interesting dialogue, but not a lot of them. I probably should have marked who had interesting dialogue and who didn't, so that way I could remember every episode to who to talk to, but oh well, not a big deal. If anything, it'll give you a reason to play the game. It's like uh, if I ever recorded like Dragon Quest, one of the DS games, they have like a ton of dialogue for just the like the minimist of characters for every single major story event. It's insane. 
you would take like like playing the game and doing that would take like take you hundreds of hours to beat those games it's insane i mean i'm glad they're in there but that's crazy but anyway this is bronze house i don't think there's anything we can really interact with you can say which actually you'd want to i gotta force the last weapon first yeah this is um so if you're the reason uh, it's like what Braun said basically while you're uh, out doing this thing right ever you don't have access to brawn during the rest of this ch well not till the end of the chapter actually technically not till the next chapter really so this is a way to to get your techniques on the boat so actually let's go and save it because there'll be an encounter here so yeah I'll save on this slot man I really wish this game had more than two saves it's kind of inconvenient for recording purposes but you know that's just how it is but yeah there's a actually let's go and rest even though I don't really need to all right, just like last time. Remember how I messed that up? Yeesh. All right, and if I do things right, I might be able to beat this boss without taking a hit, but th I doubt it. I'll probably get hit quite a few times. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's set sail for the vortex. Stars. The vortex. Star? Yeah, the current is getting stronger. If we make a wrong turn, we'll be sunk. Star! What, you think we could reach the island by drifting through the current and passing the vortex? I see, but that's a risky plan. This kind of reminds me of that, uh, uh what was it, uh, Toy Story 2 when, uh, uh, Woody's trying to, it gets, uh, uh the, the woodland creatures tell him that the, the one girl's in danger when they're do, when they're watching the TV show based off of him. And he basically says, from like, they have two squeaks and he says like a, three paragraphs of lines or whatever. So, I see, but that's a risky plan. Hey, that's for horses. Star? So what if there's a, a lot of kelp? Wait, there's tons of it. Stars? It's coming closer. Whoa! That's a boss fight. Anyway, let's switch our weapon to the axe. All right, so this is the giant serpent. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to not take damage from this guy. It is possible if you do your, if you time your jumps right, you can actually, so, okay. So this guy's the giant serpent. Um, he does water damage. This is why we wanted to have a fire axe. He do, he's not doing a ton of damage to me, but the way to the way to like kind of get around him is to jump into him, attack, and then jump out of his. Uh, oh yeah, he does the the I'm gonna twirl my arms and hit you, attack. Whoops. Luckily, I've had some levels since then. Yeah, I was. It is possible to hit to beat this guy without taking any damage, but I'm really bad at that. I don't know why I find that attack really funny. The I'm gonna swing my arms out, and if you're in the way, it's your own fault. Yeah. Oh well. He's almost dead. Yeah. This axe does a ton of damage to him. Look at that. It was like 128. Oh well. Yeah. I'm not very good at avoiding. I'm not very good at action RPGs. But anyway, we get the large picture for beating him. 1100 bomb, bomb and 2500 experience. So not enough for level, but self. So, whew. We made it through the vortex. There's the island. Good job, Zantac. Stars. Looks like there's a port here, but I wonder if anyone lives in the area. I guess that's that the man with the amnesia was trapped in the vortex and had his boat sink. No, that can't be it. That fish would have gotten him. Well, talking won't get us anywhere. Let's go and explore the island. We can use the workshop on the boat if we get new materials. We can make new weapons. We got the secrets from Master Braun. I have a feeling that we're going to need it. Let's go, Zantac. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, choosing a non-talkative... Uh, um, Summon Beast has the main character talking to himself quite often. Anyway, let's see what happens if we break down that uh, large fit chuck. Yeah, we get 20 of everything. Very nice. We will do that. And the deep sea orc is 45 water. Yeah, finally some water. Water. Nectar of the gods. I feel strength and renewal flowing through me. So. Alright. We're not going to make any more weapons because I don't need to at this point. Do I want to save it again? Yeah, let's go and save it. There's actually a part up here that, that has a, a splitting section that I want to show up both parts. So it'll be easier to have a save not too far off from now. So. All right. Now that we... Oh, wait. I did sleep, right? Did I go down there and not even... I saved, but I didn't sleep. Man, good thing I remembered. I mean, not that I would have immediately died. Well, I said that, and then I died that one time, so I don't know. Okay, well, I did lose half my HP during the fight. So, anyway. Oh, I guess I didn't show off it. Well, actually, no, I did show off all his techniques. Never mind. I was about to say, I think I didn't show off an attack, but that's not true. I think I, he showed off everything, so. 
All right, let's see what this island has to offer. Hmm. Oh yeah, you think that's a wall there, huh? What the? Star? Was that Zantec? What was that Zantec? Uh-oh. I'm bored here. They must be having fun with the girls by now. <laughs> Phew, I'm sick of standing around like this. Me too, let's think of something to do. Uh-oh, that's not good. Those, uh, Deglians, right? Or De Deglians? Whatever. Huh, there are some guards there. It sounds like there's something terrible going on. I don't think we can break through the front. I don't know about that. I think I could. Let's go find another way in, Zantec. What? All right, fine. Let's go this way. Hey, is that Beryl? Yeah, there's a cute girl over there, too. Huh? Beryl? Is that you, Claru? Ugh. What the? Beryl, you're injured. I'm so ashamed. I tried to rescue Sainari and Razzy, but I ended up getting injured pretty badly myself. I didn't want you guys to see me like this. Oh no, don't talk like that. Whoa. This is a GBA game, right? Uh, okay. Well, she's got uh, nice tracks of land, I guess. I'm sorry. Who's this? She said she's from this island. I fought up the soldiers, but I took some heavy injuries. She rescued me. She saved my life. Now you're flattering me. No, I really mean it. Without you, I would have been captured. Oh, no. This girl is really shy. Is that shy? I guess I understand. Barrel's kind of intimidating. I guess. What's up? Why are you gr What are you gritting at? Nothing. Star. Someone's approaching? Here they come. Wait. That guy looks familiar. Listen. Uh, listen, one of the swords must be on this island. Capture the mayor as soon as possible and get the information out of him. Wait, wait, what do you want us to do with the girls we captured? I've locked them in the marine dungeon. Both of them are related to important people in the city of swords. If we need to, we can exchange them for materials we need or keep them as hostages. But if they resist too much, kill them. What the? They just said kill them in a GBA Nintendo game? Or, well, actually, technically it's not Nintendo, it's Atlas, but you know what I mean. What? That guy? No, it can't be. What's going on, Barrel? Don't you know him? He's the Crap Lord of Amba. His name is Lubert. Oh, I do remember him. The man with the beard. I saw him at the opening ceremony. You might have seen him somewhere else, but that doesn't matter. I don't get it. Why is Lubert working with the Deglian soldiers? I don't know, but I found out a few things about them. First, Lubert and his men are looking for some kind of sword, and... Lubert got off this island. That means there's some way to escape the world around it. Sainari and Razzi are being held in the marine dungeon. What else? Oh, and... Oh, um, oh and the Deglin soldiers are... Evil! Let's go. Yes. No, don't go yet. You're not fully recovered. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? My rival's friends are in danger. What else do I have to know? Stand aside. Man, when did uh, Barrel become kind of honorable after a point? Like, was he kind of like a, a jerk that, like, you know, let people buy bad swords for, for his guild? Like, wh when did this happen? Uh, all right, whatever. Well, technically, I think if you talk with him, you learn a bit more about his, this attitude. But if you don't do the night conversation with him, you're kind of like, uh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. If you really need to go, you'll have to knock me down first. You look like a twig lady. Exclamation point. What, are we gonna garland you? We're gonna knock you all down! You're so badly hurt that you can't even do that now. I don't know, dude. Don't push yourself like this. Dot, dot, dot. He probably wouldn't do it because he probably thinks put, knocking around a lady is on, dishonorable or something. Barrel. I'll take care of it. You stay and rest. I'm sorry, Claire Don't worry. Thank you. The entrance to the dungeon is in the village. The village gate is guarded by Diglin soldiers. The only way to enter the village is to get on the secret path that I used to escape. Follow the rocks over there and you should be able to find the entrance to the cave that will lead into town. I'll follow you. I'll follow you guys soon. Don't get into trouble. All right. So unfortunately, Barrow can't help us. But this is one of those games where you can't really, you know, like have anyone else help you other than your summon beast. So I'll be right behind you. So take care of yourself. 
That wound must still hurt, but that guy's really pushing himself to get back. It may be frustrating, but I can tell that he likes you. Uh, great, I guess? But anyway, let's climb up the stairs here. So we can get into town the other way. Yeah, see, look at that. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, wow. Alright, anyway. You and that summon creature. Sar? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Ah, it's just that nobody should know of this path but the villagers. Some cute girl told me, so... I'm sorry if I'm intruding in some way. I just asked a lady outside about a secret path to the village. Was that lady... Was this lady cute? Oh. I guess everyone has a... Has good taste, I guess. Huh? What the heck is this guy talking about? <laughs> she was so-so, I guess. She sure was. She was really cute. Dot, dot, dot. I see. The girl you meet outside of the village was probably my daughter. Oh, I wonder what he would have thought if we said she was so-so. And you must be a craft... Well, some dads might, might be proud of their cute daughters, you know what I mean? You must be a craft knight, right? Yes, I'm a craft knight from Weister, and I'm still just an apprentice, though. I see. Huh? Is there anything wrong with that? Nothing at all! So, why is a craft knight here? To start with, my friends were captured by Deglinian soldiers. Are they girls? Well, one of them is a girl. Is she cute? She's cute, but she'd rather be a tomboy than a pretty girl. Hey, tomboys are the best girls. I'll fight you on that one. Uh, it's good she's cute. I'll show you the entrance to the village for the sake of this cute girl. You're creeping me out, dude. There's a cave in the rocky areas behind the houses. You should be able to get into town from there. But there are soldiers in the village, so be careful and try not to be spotted. Thank you very much. There are villagers being held hostage to prevent us from doing anything risky. But I really hope you guys will be able to help. Take care of yourselves. We will. Yeah, this guy talking about cute girls all the time. It's like, are you are you kind of the creepy, creepy old man uh, uh, trope? The Deglin soldiers caused me to end up like this. If I ever survive, I'd like to be so handsome and popular that the girls will flock to me, just like they do to the village mayor. Is that, that's what I'll been dream of. He's Well, I guess he is kind of handsome in a way, I guess. Why not? Oh, yeah, all the, they said all the village girls were captured, so. Are you going to the cave? The ceiling may collapse in some places. So be careful. In the village cave, there are areas where a water scooter won't help because there isn't enough water. In that case, you've got to get the water above to flow down. Huh. We villagers have better not act carelessly. Some of us have already been captured and taken hostage. But I'll support you from the bottom of my heart. Take care of yourself. Alright, well, thanks for that, I guess, so. Anything else here? No? Okay. Okay, so, anyway, let's go over here. Okay, we find ourselves in the uh, the water dungeon, or the marine dungeon, sorry. So, we have to go through a couple floors to find our friends. So, let's uh, get to it. Ooh, water. Well, well, we'll get to the marine dungeon anyway. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just messing with you. But we will be getting to the marine dungeon, so. I don't think there's actually anything here. I think, uh... I don't think any of the buildings have anything in them until we clean it out of, uh, of, uh, villains or whatever, so. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, so I want to go down here and up here. Okay, now we're in the marine dungeon, so, okay. Okay, we got a new enemy here, the Escaroos. They are snail-like enemies. They have 420 HP, so let's, uh, show them off. Okay. Let me show their attacks. So they got a claw attack. Uh, they got a shell attack where they try to... I think that's it. And since... Uh, I don't know if all of them in here are... are uh, yeah, look at the axe power. So this is why if you're playing axe, you might consider just putting everything into defense and attack. Because you can just basically just wail on people. Because if you have high enough defense, you may take little to no damage. Or you might have enough HP that you can afford to take the hits. You know, so... Yeah, nothing there. Okay, more Escaroos, so... Ah, well, I'll fight them, sure. But in the future, I will cut cut those fights out, so... Because, you know. Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to show off the Axe ability. So, Axe is just square. If you press down and uh, square, you can do kind of a swing. And if you press up, you can jump. And I think that's pretty much it. Axe doesn't really have combos because of the whole... Um, 
with how slow it is. But if you do the down and swing, you can flip enemies up into the air. Uh, so it's so it gives you kind of a chance to, uh, um, you know, get a chance to hit them. But anyway, get over here. There we go, clots and potion. Actually, I need to remind myself. I need to equip the um, potions into my inventory. Right, let's equip. To... Oh wait, no, I uh, need item. I don't know why I was. Yeah, we'll put. Uh, actually, kicker potion is probably enough HP for now. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, yeah, we don't need water magic here. Oh, we got another new enemy here. Uh, uh, Keys, uh, Kristen Airs or whatever. So they're flying. They're wind. I think they're willing elementals. So yeah, they'll swing their wings at you. And yeah, let's see if I can show off their any of their other attacks. Yeah, they have a wind attack. But whoops, I won't. Yeah, the water, the the uh, fire axe does a lot of damage. So very nice. Whoops. All right. Yeah, uh, axing people to death just makes this uh, makes this area a whole lot easier. Um, and it looks like we got one of the first uh, yeah first areas where we can't uh, um, get in the water. All right, we gained a level for beating those guys for Zantec. And uh, yeah, it looks like we can't go any further. Whatever shall we do? Well, we have to go back up. And we missed a little section earlier. I'll show you. I'll just avoid these guys for now. Oh, I forgot to. Show something for the, the sl uh, slug enemies. I'll do that here in a second. But anyway, we go over here. Huh, this boulder seems odd. If we smash it, huh, it goes down to the water below. Oh, no, it's not these guys. There's uh, It was it was the snail guys or the, the slug guys or whatever. But yeah, now we can't get the chest, though. So, yeah, they got 420 HP. Blaze it. Anyway, so I just want to show it off. <laughs> uh, 420? But anyway, if you do destroy that, you can't get that chest anymore. So keep that in mind before doing that. So, man, that was a lot of uh, slime, uh, snail guys or whatever. But anyway, yeah, we can go in here now. So, all right. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, see, it flows down from there. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy Legend 3 for some reason. I'll, I'll run away from these guys since I was in the middle of a dialogue when I did that. Yeah, I had to be careful about when I talk just because I'm, I'm afraid that I might accidentally be talking. Oh, we actually got a glacier stone for defeating them. Let's uh, show that off. So it gives you a, a decent amount of, uh, I believe it's water elemental. Uh, I don't think I have it in my notes. Let me check though really quick just to make sure. Glacial stone, 35 water. Okay, yep. All right, let's see. No, I think I need to. Now we gained a level for Claire after fighting those guys. Uh, let's see. Might start bumping up my agility again. At least a little bit. Okay, anyway. Let's see. Now I'm getting quite a bit of exp Well, I wouldn't say a bit. I'm getting a decent amount of bonus experience, which means these guys are over my level. But, oh, we get some core parts. Nice. That'll give me a nice amount of... Uh, that was a nice... Uh, anyway, we got Klotz and, uh, Klutz and Potion here. That was a pretty good haul for random destruction. Oh, we got a new enemy here, the uh, Snyroos. They're a bit faster than their cousins, but they do the exact same attacks. Yeah, we already have a uh, a color-coded enemy in here. But uh, not much to him, but I thought I'd show him off anyway. But yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the... Oh, we got a shiny shell item from those guys uh, that I fought, the Snyroos or whatever. Uh, shiny shell is a craft uh, material, which is, I think, let me see if I have it down in my notes here. Uh, I might not have that. I don't have all these written down. Uh, no, I don't have this one written down. So, uh, But it is a material thing. We'll find out about it later. So, like I said, some stuff I don't have down because I don't get it randomly dropped that often. And I don't have the craft. I don't have all the tables. So, Okay. So we're about to head down to the bottom floor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly go back and just save. Um, and because there's, there's a spot here where I can get two different, two different stories. And I want to show both of them off or two different paths. And I want to show them off. You can't do both. Um, and the reward isn't really that much different between the two, frankly, but I wanted to show them off anyway. So, uh, I'll be right back after making a save just so I can reload it so I can get back to this point and, and, uh, 
because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, after I show the path, I'm going to cut and show the other path, and it's less running around for me. So, I'll see you all in a second. Okay, we're back, so... Star... What's that, Zantech? More soldiers. Oh, Veril, hey. Clairu, what are you doing? Oh, Veril, are you feeling better? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Now, what's going on? Uh, there's some Deglin Deglinian soldiers. I'm gonna dig land. Dig land. Okay, hey, soldiers over there. Oh, they're talking about something. Be quiet for a minute. Maybe we can do them. Hey, do you want to exchange the redhead for the little kid in yellow? No way, man. I love it when a cute girl cooks me a good meal. Who doesn't? Eh, uh, uh, base, I guess. Base, I guess. Besides, that little guy looks like he could train him to take care of your weapons and armor. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you to trade. Your armor is covered with nasty little dents and scratches. I refuse. Speaking of the kids, if they resist, kill them. Can you believe that guy asked us to do such a crazy thing? Huh, even these guys don't want to do crazy stuff like that. Man, that dude has no mercy. Okay, let's get back to work now. See you later. I see Resi and Sanery are being held in two different places. Now let's talk about who goes where to save them. Okay, so if you want to get the better reward, it's better to go after Sanery. Um, it's not much better; it's just a little bit better. Uh, but so, but really, overall, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm gonna show both paths. So I'm gonna show Sanery first, and I'll do Razzy second. So you take care of Razzy. I'll go rescue Sanery. All right. I thought you'd say that. Uh-oh. Barrel? I guess that... I guess that he'll be fine. Star. Do you think so, Zantic? Is it because Barrel's a guy? Yeah. Okay, I'll do my part. But anyway, yeah, you could... You could chase after him, but there's no really reason to do that. So anyway, let's just do what our path is. So let's just follow our path and see if we can uh, help Sanery, so... Okay. Be very quiet. I'm hunting Sanery's. Star? There are a lot of soldiers. Stars! Oh, there she is. What the? Is she wearing a dress? Huh, is that Sanery? Oh, Sanery, thanks for the tea, sweetie. No problem. You're welcome. Whoa! Damn it, why do I have to cook meals for these louts? I'm not a maid. Although these clothes are kind of cute. Uh, hand, hand of the Lord. I, I think they're cute, too. And she looks great like that, so... Too bad it's at the whims of these bozos, but I have to escape. Don't you have a weapon? Did they grab? They must have taken your weapon. Hey, Sanery, babe. Yes, right away. Don't call me babe. <laughs> huh? I can see her sort of enjoying this somehow. Just dot dot dot. Do you think so too, Zantek? Anyway, we must rescue her. Eh, let's wait a minute. Yeah, we could hurry up and rescue her. I want to see where this goes. We could wait for a bit and see what happens. Sanery, honey, my shoulders need a massage. Let me take care of that for you. I'm starting to feel sorry for her. Rescue her right away now. Let's wait and see some more. Let's wait and see a bit more. Sure, I can dance for you. What the? I'm no dancer. Men are such idiots. I definitely have to get out of here. She looks scary. Yeah, she's getting mad. That is a sister of a craft lord. My pride won't let me give up. Wait, Sanery is a sister of one of the craft lords? Oh yeah, she said she had a sister, but this is the first we heard about this. Even if you do her, uh, her, uh, uh, late night talks. Actually, if you've never done any late night talks, you don't even know she had a sister. So, uh, Sanery doll. Ah, uh, yes. I need a kiss from you this time. A kiss? That's that's horrible. That's like the, the most depraved thing ever. A kiss? You want me to kiss you? No way, we must get her out of here now. All right, that's it. That's where we draw the line. No kissing. Hey, you. Kairu. That's as far as you go. Ribbon and lacy scenario. Uh, ribbon and lacy scenery is coming with me. Ribbon and lacy, what? Dot, dot, dot. You're the, uh, oh! Huh, I'm, I am that scary? 
That's not it. Huh? What the? Uh-oh. What is that? What's well, the... It's a re reskin of the last boss. I failed to attempt a cookie. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. For boss time against the grudge fish. So, uh, yeah, he's basically the same boss again. So that's just how it is. But anyway, so yeah, do, do the same thing as before. Oh, he has some slightly different attacks, but not much different, really. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll uh, swing his arms at you. Try to do this. It's actually probably easier for me to just take the hits this time instead of trying to take no damage. Ow. Even though I do more damage if I jump attack. I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I took some damage, but, you know. Oop. Gotta remember his uh, jump attack is a lot better. Yeah, he's got a bit of H more HP, but yeah, he's basically the same boss. Might have to do a heal. Ooh. Yeah, I could... Nah, let's heal just to make sure. Alright, yep. Alright, there he goes. Yay! Alright, anyway, we got 300 HP, 1200 bone, and the burnt scale, which is a... Uh, um, obviously, I think you can break down. Uh, the burnt scale, I forgot how much it gives, but I think it gives like 50 fire or something like that, while the scale you get for doing, uh, or the reward you get for, uh, the other, uh, the other path is not as high, but still, it's not that much worse. Phew, I won. Oh, did the Daglian soldiers flee? Stars! Thanks for your help. I'm not very good at cooking. Clearly, no kidding. Huh, you think so too? Wow, now that I have time to take a good look, she's really cute. Yeah, she is. I mean, I like the tomboy look, but I'll appreciate a good maid look too. I should pay her more respect because she's older than me and because she's wearing a dress, dude. Uh-oh, I'm starting to feel my heart thumping. What? Uh, no, it's nothing. Are you falling for her? Huh. I'll go change my clothes. Wait for me here. Don't even try to peek in. The last thing you'd see me would be my fist. I promise I won't. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not degenerates like that, so. Thanks for waiting. Maybe the lacy skirts were better. I think so. Hey, you were just thinking that if it would be better if I hadn't changed back, weren't you? Why don't you wear it then? Huh. Whoa, I'm sorry. Forget about what you saw, saw earlier. You mean the lacy costume? Yes, I'm telling you to forget it. Okay. Oh, I remember it now. You just said I had to forget. Why do you keep, get, Why do you get to remember? That's not what I'm talking about. I remember that Razzie's being held captive downstairs. Let's go. Okay. All right, let's go follow Sainry and uh. And here's where we meet everyone. Razzy, Beryl, great, you're safe. Big bro. I, no problem. Or sorry, I, no problem. Razzy fought well. <laughs> I heard that what's going on from scenery. Oh, I see. It sounds like you had the odd time. Yeah, it was quite terrible. Scenery did a terrible job cooking, wearing a lacy costume. Cooking, or cooking? A lacy costume? Hey! What are you doing? You said you'd forget that! Oh, sorry. I forgot that I forgot. <laughs> Jeez. If he had rescued me sooner, he wouldn't have had to see all that. I don't know. Weren't you enjoying yourself a little bit, Sanery? Yeah, I totally... What? You were, you were spying on me, weren't you? Uh, no, I didn't. You saw me, huh? Forget everything. Forget everything you just saw. Wow, I'm sorry! Dot dot dot. Alright, so, now that that's occurred, now let's show off what happens when we uh, save Razzie instead. So I'll be right back after loading that up. Alright, we're back after loading the file, so let's see what happens when we save Razzie instead. So let's uh, skim through the dialogue a little quickly now. I mean, yeah, I can only go so fast, unfortunately, so... 
All I can do is press press A to win. Or is it B? I think it's B. Well, anyway. Yep. Yep, something about cute girls, something about a guy who can make stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No mercy, man. All right, oh, anyway, they split off. I s okay, so, uh, just, just skim, skim. Okay, let me take care of Razzy. You take care of Saner. I'll go rescue Razzy. Oh, right, that's who I thought you'd pick. Wait, what? How do you know? He says I don't know where you choose. You know, if the cave event happens. Barrel! Yeah, you'll be fine. Yep, okay. Well, anyway, let's head down south instead. And skip these enemies. I'll just run it for them. That's fine. Alright, where are you, Razzy? I mean, you seem to take care of yourself, but still, you know, uh, if you're surrounded by... If you're surrounded by dudes and everything like that, you might have a bit of a, a bit of trouble. So, you know. Yeah, I'll just run. We'll just run past everyone. Whoa! What the heck's going on? Stars? Whoa. Well, there go the soldiers. Is Raz did Razzy fight them all off? Well, that's pretty impressive. Run away! Run away! Ah! Huh? Well... Uh, what happened there? What's that? Yeah, it's just another reskin of the boss. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not running away. I've decided to become a craft ward. I'm not giving up until I can make Weister into a city of swords and flowers. And until I get as good as Big Bro, I'm not going to back down. Razzy! Big Bro? You said it well, Razzy. I'll take care of this from here. No, you won't, big bro. This guy's strong. Get out of here. To be a craft ward, we can't ever run away or surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. You just taught me that. Big bro. Don't worry. Your favorite big bro can't be defeated by a guy like this. Let's go, Zantek. Stars. For boss time against the evil fish. He's evil. Uh, he drops uh, or he drops 3,600 experience, 1,200 bomb, and a large scale. Yeah, see, now this guy's more... Oh, I got old Swiss. I was hoping to maybe be able to beat him without uh, um, taking any damage, but oh well. It's always the case I'm just too close. Uh, uh, ah, it's always that water part. I just love that his, his swinging arm ability because it makes him seem like a child or something like that. He's just like... I'm going to hit you. Yeah, you got a little close to me. Whoop. Ah. Oh, well. Man, I always have trouble with that water one. There we go. And we beat the evil fish, so... Overall, in terms of paths, I find the scenery one more uh, more enjoyable because it's funny. So, but either way, you did it. You're so great, big bro. Stars. And yeah, we would have come up from the north area from before. So, oh, scenery and barrel. Star. You were cool too, Zantek. I'm glad they're all safe. Although you were fine, your partner's a terrible cook. What? Cooking? Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about Sainer's cooking. Hey, what are you trying to say? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to talk about that in front of you guys. I can't mention the cooking or the lacy costume, right? Is that what I can talk about? Yeah, it makes you wonder if you ever, if you chose Razzie, you're just like, what happened that I missed? A lacy costume? There's nothing... Or, there's not, there's nothing. Believe me, darn it. Ah! Ah! What's wrong with scenery? She's really bad. Okay, anyway, the pass has converged back here. So, like I said, the rewards are slightly different, but not a big deal. You just, you get to see scenery in a lacy maid outfit. So, per, like I said, preferable. But it doesn't do anything different. Like, if you choose one over the other, there's nothing, like, you miss out on other than the scene. So, now let's talk about what we have to do now. Are you still mad, Sainry? 
Of course not. A good warrior can control herself and doesn't get mad that easily. You were mad. I'm sorry, were you talking just now? Cut it out! Okay. Now, let's talk about where we go from here. We can return home. Can we return home now? Negative. Even if we tried, there'd be Deglian soldiers waiting for us. There's still that whirlpool. I don't think our ships would make it through. Dot, dot, dot. Is that the wrong scenery? Yeah, I just heard, uh... Yeah, I just heard earlier that there's a summon creature somewhere in this dungeon that's created the vortex. Does that mean that the Deglian soldiers are using the summon creature to create the vortex on purpose? Yeah, right. Let's beat that summon creature. And go back to Weister. If we're in a big group, it could be it would could be able to find us more easily. I'll go first. I probably won't need your help. This is so we can... You know you never split up the party, right? Wait, you can't really beat that guy by yourself? Yeah, you can't beat me either. And they'll leave me by myself. Great, thanks guys. We need to work together! Dot dot dot. Ugh. Alright, fine, anyway. Let's go on to the next war. Alright, four or five. Okay. Let's see if anything's in these barrels. Nope. Hey, we got a new enemy here. The Swaggin! The Swaggin upon me! I forgot where they're originally from. Uh, from weather. But anyway, these are fish guys that have, that have anchors. They jump and attack. They also swing their uh, 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 anchor at you. And they can also do that. Which is like a spit or whatever. So, might have to heal, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, Axe... Since my defense isn't as high as it could be, Axe is uh, hurting me a bit, so... Yeah. Yeah, gotta watch out for the Swaggin, man. Oh, at least there's a save spot here, so... Alright, let's uh, smash these. Ooh, we got a bandage. Alright. Yeah, too bad this place doesn't give a ton of experience. Oh, we get a rebel engineer. You can break, that's a material you can break down. I'm almost running out of health. I'm almost dead. Anyway, we got a new enemy here. Uh, Aquanairs. Let me heal really quick. Uh, they're basically a reskin of the other creatures we found earlier. They do the exact same things, so. But I'll show them off anyway. Yeah, it's kind of sad that uh, there's so many reskins in this game. Eh, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Doesn't bug me that much. And you can actually see off the the full battle music. Sometimes I beat, I either beat fights too fast or whatever, and you can't hear the full battle music. So, anyway, gained a level for Zantec. All right, more spell slots for him. And we find another. Uh... Huh, this boulder seems odd. Oops, I meant to hit it. There we go. And yeah, that'll help us, uh... But anyway, that'll help us get to the, uh... I'll gain a level for, uh, uh, Clary there. Uh... Yeah, let's put more agility. Let's try to get agility to 50, I think. And then we'll go back to the other way, so... Alright, should save here, but won't for now. Mainly because there's actually a heal spot there too far off, so... So yeah, luckily the game is pretty lenient. Pretty lenient when it comes to like save spots and heal spots. So you know, have no fear. Yeah, see there it is right there. And yeah, we wouldn't have been able to go down here if we didn't destroy that rock, so it would have we'd had to come back up here, so. Alright, so almost done. Alright, come on, we've almost got this man. Alright, heal the HP. And then there should be a treasure. Oh, not here. Yeah, I can't get over there because of some weird thing. What, what's up with all this weird... The scenery's changed. It's almost like a boss battle is about to occur. Yeah, that can't be right. Oh, not quite. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, we have to fight... Uh, yeah, look at that guy right there. So, anyway, before we fight him, let's get the black boots. But yeah, he's a uh, boss, so uh, he's the summon creature that's been making the uh, vortex. All right, black boots. Yeah, allow you escape uh, fights faster. Uh, it's never been that big of a deal, so. But hey, if you have trouble, huh? No, oh, I'll just leave this in. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like he has like a, a, t a turbine on his head or something like that. So anyway, let's fight him. This is the summit creature that causes the vortex. 
I'll go in first. There's no one else here. Who are you? You don't look like you belong here. Stop! You don't belong in this world. Uh, I mean, uh, darn it! Stars? What, you want to start a commotion after we beat the summon creature? Do you think we'll be okay? Is that how we solve our problems? <laughs> what? What's with the dialogue sometimes? Star! Uh, I forgot who speaks here. Sorry, light color. I think it's a barrel, but... Everyone! What good timing! Of course! Wait, didn't you guys go ahead of me? How did you... How did I beat you? Anyway. Let's take care of these soldiers! Yeah, sure! Let's beat it! Let's beat it! Just beat it! For boss time against the cre King Crabber! So the way the Crabber works is, yeah, you fight on top of him instead of his actual... Uh, I mean, you're fighting on his body. So he can do a couple of things with his antenna. Um, he can make a... He can drop his antenna, make a claws appear and lash you out on the side. Um, and then uh, he can uh, bring both of them down and a claw will lash out almost on the complete full side of a screen. So when that happens, you need to run to like one side of the, the screen to do it. So the best way to do this is to, um, to stay on one side of the screen. Yeah, see, so he can also do that as well. It's to just stay on this side of the screen and then if both, uh, yeah, come down, do that. And then that's pretty much the way to beat this guy. Uh-oh. Whoa, ah, that's it. Ah, oh, no. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's, I shouldn't have even gotten hit to tell you the truth. Uh-oh. Whoa, uh, uh. Okay. Ah, nuts. Okay. Do. Oh. I got. I got. I got to pay attention for. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, I might. Maybe I should switch my weapon out. I'm going a little slow at this case. Okay. Whoa. Ah, dang it. I heal actually. Whoops. Uh oh. Yeah, if he casts a spell, then you can't cast a spell either, so. Yeah, I probably should have switched out my weapon. The axe isn't probably isn't the best uh, uh, thing here. Wah! Dang it. Uh oh. Yeah, sometimes it's better just to stay in the center, but. I have to switch out my, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Just because my durability is almost out. Uh-oh. Huh? Dang it. I keep hoping I'm, uh, might have to, uh, up. Oh, there's his other, I was wondering when he was going to do his other attack. He, he shoots me with freaking bubbles, man. There we go, got him. Woo, I was close. At least with my durability. I would have swapped a different weapon if it really come down to it, so. Man, we got 1,400 experience. And because he's such a higher level than us, we got another 2,000 for that. Nice. And 1,300 bone. Not bad. Anyway, Xantek gains a level as well. And Clairu, and he learns a chant flare. All right. Uh, yeah, we got 50, so let's uh, go back to... Oh, yeah, I gained two levels here. Yeah, let's even out with the uh, attack and defense. And we get the spiral ring as well. Nice. We did it, Zantec. Star, music star. Dance, magic, dance. Big bro so cool. Big bro so strong. I mix those up. Star. What happened to the soldiers? They all took off as soon as they saw you beat the summon creature. Jeez, don't talk it all for yourself. Sorry. You're full of confidence, huh? Probably because you're already in the semifinals. Huh? Ugh. I'm just teasing you. It's just a joke. It's a joke. All right, let's get going then. Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm the mayor of this village. I'm his daughter, Clary. Beryl, I'm glad to know that you're safe. Well, it's like uh, Clary and uh, Beryl got to know each other a bit better. Oh, yeah. Thanks to all of you, there are no more Diggly and soldiers on the island. Thank you all. On behalf of the villagers, I express my gratitude. Thank you very much. 
All right then, let's go back to my place and keep talking. How's that sound? Garu, I'm going home. I've done what I need to do to here. Oh, Beryl. Yeah, looks like she kind of fell for him. What's up with him? Or, what's up with him? I guess he's worried about his next battle. He'll be fine. Young people should be aggressive like him. It builds character. Just like, <laughs> was it was it, was it the Calvin Hobbes? Go do something you hate, Calvin. It builds character. Sh shouldn't you go after your daughter? Oh my, I had to follow her. But I still have things to talk to you about. Come to my house and we'll finish this later. I see. Okay, my house is just up the street. I'll go find my daughter and go home right away. Okay. Please be there. Yeah, I wonder if Beryl's all right. I'll go check out the village. I'll go too. We need to work together. <laughs> yeah, everyone just runs off. Dot, dot, dot. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's talk to some of the people. I know it's been a long episode already, but still. Next year, I'm going to Weister and become a craft knight. I'll train at the Gold Guild. What's this? Uh, what this island needs now are weapons that are useful, not just decoration. Yeah, after what happened. So. Yeah, see, you need you need weapons, folks. The villager mayor looks like a womanizing slacker, but he's really a hard worker. I see him sneaking in and out of the workshop. <coughs> Good to know. It's always summer on this island, but at Weister in advance, it's getting close to winter. What do you have here anyway? So, uh, let's see. Oh, we can sell stuff. Yeah, I don't want to sell any of my stuff. Eh, good to know, though. Alright, nothing to buy here. How about the item shop? I know that something that needs to be done to make this island prosper. I wonder what it could be. Ah, yes. What if he chose a great leader like a craft board, the same way, same way Weistern does? He'd be a chieftain of the island, so we could all call him something like Master Island Knight, right? I guess. My dream is to become a craft lord. I really need to train in the Weistern to do that. My father insists I become a fisherman and won't stop talking about it. Fisherman, fishing is so boring. Anyway, you get uh, see some items here we can buy. Nothing unique, so you can buy all that stuff at, at back in Weistern. So not a big deal. So it's hard to understand relationships. Claire rejected more than ten suitors. Well, apparently she has her eyes on a particular blonde-haired man. The village girls think that the mayor is a pervert, so now I wonder if he really is. I don't think he is. I think he's just, I think he's just over, over, overly excited. The village chief asked my daughter out to dinner again. I wish he'd stop doing that. Okay, maybe he is a woman. Either. You're from Western, aren't you? If you ever run into a guy named Beryl, tell him that Clary is mine and that you had better stay away from her. I don't know why. I feel like Beryl has some, has other focuses right now. Maybe when he gets older. My brother was so scared by the dangling soldiers that he hid under the bed the whole time. Oh, what, what kind of man are you, man? When I escaped, when I escaped from the Tagline soldiers, I didn't think that running away would help us. I thought that I had to become much stronger so I could protect my family. Yeah, dude, you gotta step up, bro. All right, anyway. Let's see if anyone else is here. I mean, if you want to skip all this, you could do, oh, I guess that's it, okay. If you want to skip all this, you could just go straight to the mayor's, mayor's house, so. All right, never mind. All right, I was just seeing if there's anything else we can enter. Oh yeah, there's the well. Yeah, there's the well again. This is the mayor's house. It looks like he's not back. What do you do? Uh, wait, hold on a second. I think the, I think the, I think they all have the same exit and entrance points. I think, even though those are two different locations. Yeah, I don't know why that, that how that works like that. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. So, oh well, whatever. Yeah, I think we're done, so... Alright, let's wait here. We'll wait until he returns. Oh, wait, everyone's waiting here too? Oh, you guys came here after all. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I'm sorry that I made you guys wait, Clary. How do you know my name? I got it from the cute girl there. Uh, cute girl? Dot, dot, dot. Big bro? I'm just teasing you. Now, Claire, do you know the reason that Diglians came here? They were looking for some kind of special sword, weren't they? That's why they used the Vortex to keep anyone from coming to or leaving the island. Really? Did you just now realize that? To tell you the truth, I kept the sword hidden from them. 
You had it, you creepy old man. Really? I did so well that the Deglian soldiers couldn't find it at all. How cool! Where'd you hide it? In some mountain range with some magical beast? Under your bed. But now I can't remember why I hid it. What? You put us through all that for a stupid sword? Sometimes it's necessary to keep secrets from your friends as well as your enemies. Ugh. That's why no one knows where it is. I need your help to find it. What? I thought we were done with this chapter already. I'm a little worried now. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, there it is. Well done. This is what the Dangling soldiers were seeking. The Eastern Sword. What's up with all these not uh, interesting names for swords? Come on, you get the Excalibur, the Masamune, Eastern and Western Sword. Is this the same sword that Lady La uh, gave me in the labyrinth the uh, other day in the labyrinth? It can't be. The Deglian soldiers have left the island, but they said they'd return soon. I want you to take this sword back to Weister and keep it safe. Make sure they never get it. I give this to Claru, son of Shinetsu, the craft lord of iron. You knew? But what does the sword have to do with him? You seem to have trained as a craft knight, but you haven't picked up on this yet. Do you mean this is one of the swords my dad forged? That's right. Man, your dad's really bad at naming conventions. Shinetsu made a great many swords, but three of them were in a class by themselves. And the game won't let us use them. I can't let the Deglians have a single one of these swords. I discussed it with the ma with Master Rondau. I decided that I can't keep the sword here now that the Deglians know about it. But they came and created that vortex where I could get the sword off the island. I can no longer keep it safe here. How do you know Master Rondau? I said I was going to swap the pronunciations. I think I stopped doing that. I was once a pupil of Shinetsu. What? Is that true? Then, do you know why my dad forged a sword like this? The sword is used for sealing off the great power of the Holy Spirit. I can't say any more than that. Why? So because it spoiled the plot? The only thing I can tell you is that your father was a true hero. I see. You've told me all I want to know for the moment. I'll take care of the sword for you. Yes, thank you. We get the Eastern Sword item. Well then, Claru, Sonari, you do your best in the tournament. Yes, we will. You got it. Now let's return to Weistern. Back to Weistern. Yeah, another chapter where we don't actually have to fight a tournament. If the Deglings are after the Eastern Sword, they'll also be after the Western Sword that I left with my mom. Maybe it must warn her right away. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, why are we leaving all these powerful swords with her? I mean, yeah, it makes sense because she was the wife of Shinetsu, but I don't know. It's almost like we're putting her in danger. Eh, yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, she was the wife of Shinetsu. Maybe she has her own power or strength or something like that. Who knows? I don't know why I was going to the water there. But anyway, let's head back home. Talk to Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, wait, what happened to that one dude? Mom! Welcome home. Listen, Mom, the sword I gave you the other day is the one that Dad forged. I heard it's very important. The Deglians are hunting for it. If you keep it, your life will be in danger. Thank you, we actually bring it up. I knew that. That's why I took it away from you. This sword has this spirit within it. But you're in danger. I'll be fine. I'm the wife of the Craft Lord of Iron, and I'm your mom. I'll protect your father's sword, whatever it takes. Can you actually fight? Or are you just saying that just to sound big? So clear, let me be close to him. Oh, you miss him. That makes sense, actually. Mom. Please, Zantek. Star. Now, Clear, give me the sword you have now. Huh? How'd you know we have it? I told you already. I'm the wife of the Craft Lord Iron, and I'm your mom. I know when you're hiding something from me. Yes. Alright, give her the sword. Don't worry, your mom will be just fine. Alright, I'll return to the workshop. Take care. Mom. Whatever it takes, I'll protect my mom. You're a good dude, Claro. Good to know. Always take care of your mom. My dad's second sword. The mayor said that there were three of these swords all together. But why are the Deglings after my dad's swords? What in the world happened three years ago? Yeah, people aren't telling me. You think that'd be pretty obvious to tell the son of the uh, son of the hero of the world what happened? But no, we have to pull the plot forward a bit further, longer. Exclamation point or right, question mark? No, it's nothing. Let's go get some fresh air outside and we'll think about it. We don't want to go. Alright, so once again, we can choose all our, any of our allies. Let's choose Razzy again. I'll go to the central tower. 
Thank you, big bro. Huh? For what? I was so happy that you and Farrell came to rescue me. I was helpless and alone for a long time. To be honest, I almost lost my hope in myself thinking like that. So thank you, big bro. It wasn't a problem. I just did what I was trained to do. That's not it. You know you had to defeat a lot of army soldiers before rescuing me. Oh, anyway, big bro, what's that sword you have? Is it valuable? Yes, I heard that this is a sword that my dad forged. You might have heard about it, too. They say it's powerful enough to seal away a holy spirit. I did hear about that, but why would the Deglians want a thing like that? I don't understand. Me neither. But everyone works so hard to keep the sword out of the hands of people who put it into bad uses. We need to be careful that we never try to use it like that ourselves. Yeah, I understand. Razzie believes in justice. I need to learn from him. Well. Will we, wor will we learn from Laz Razzie? What does Sanery have to tell us? And what makes a hero? Find out next time in the next episode of Summon Night, a Swordcraft Story. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.